guys, it's Aiden here and welcome back to another episode of the Canadian Experience. This is episode 4 and right now I'm outside and this is the most brutal weather I've ever seen in Canada that I had so far. Snowstorm. It doesn't look that bad on camera but I can guarantee you it's much worse. Yeah, basically the time's currently 3.30pm and I, and I got let out for like half an hour ago. Since there's a snowstorm coming tonight, there was supposed to be an event we were holding but unfortunately it's not happening any f anymore for obvious reasons because a bad snowstorm is here it's currently negative five and it's snow and it's snowing heavily and the snow levels have gone up quite a bit yeah it's so when you can when i when you say it's in something like this i swear like this morning it was nowhere near as bad now it's gotten like 10 times worse oh my god it's getting in my eyes look at this <laughs> oh so much snow i just look at the, what i'm stepping in guys this is crazy and at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm crossing over at the river. Okay, I'm finally back in my room now, and oh my god, I have no words to describe, though, honestly. Well, as you know, I'm from Hong Kong. Hong Kong is no snow, so this is the strongest snow I've ever seen, personally. And even here in Canada, I know there's snowstorms happen every now and then, and from what I understand, Waterloo got about 10, 11 centimeters of snow this year so far in January. The average is 30. So this is already not that much compared to what people have told me. So I'm really in for a surprise to say the least. And yes, yeah, so I'll show you what the window looks like right now, actually. So I don't know if, you could, if the camera, if my iPhone's picking up, but you could see just how the snow is blowing through. It's crazy. This morning, the snow was rather thin. Then all of a sudden it just escalated by 10 times so i was told that i can come back here and work from home so i'm gonna do that for the next hour and a half or so then and i assume you guys want to know how my chinese new year went well as of today today is lin chao se nian chu si so it's a wednesday and chinese new year so day one that was on sunday i didn't really do anything because i know public transport here is just so annoying so i didn't really have the chance to head back into the toronto area to meet with my relatives and of course, most of my friends from Hong Kong aren't here for obviously, and my family is all the way back in Hong Kong. So I spent some of it alone, which is unfortunate, but I did spend some time with some of my local friends here that I made, which is nice and that's good to say the least. So nothing too much. Ironically, we spent most of the day helping some of the stream aid students with ECE 140 circuits. Well, not most of the day. We spent like two hours helping them with some circuit problems. You know, just resistances, circuit analysis, some Kirchhoff law, so nothing too bad, you know? It's, it's, it's nice for me to warm up my brain again. Hey, look who's come here to play. This is Cannoli. This is the residence dawn on our floors. Cat. Cato. Oops, wait, wrong switch. There we go. Cannoli likes to have fun with, with, his, with the little laser. You know, it's a daily ritual. He gets his little exercise, he gets his attention. And, you know, he's a very cute and am admirable little meow. I'm pretty sure I hit the green first. Oh no, I'm pretty sure I touched. Engineering. What the fuck? Ask on engineering. Fuck! Yo. Oh! Yeah, so guys, so the time is currently 10.05 p.m. on the late night on Friday. So it's a Friday night, which means it's for me. <coughs> so as I was saying, assuming my phone will actually stabilize itself on this thing, it's laundry day. So, you know, laundry detergent here, laundry basket right here. You can see dryers are right behind me. And yeah, you know, what's a, what's a vlog and a, and a kind of a day of the life kind of thing without doing laundry? Yeah, so as you can see, of course, I'm just going to do pour around one round like so. And then that goes just one straight round like that around the inside. So you just let it flow through. The next step, you just start tossing stuff in. Hello. You know what? Before this place closes, I think it's fair to quickly grab a drink. Okay, as you can see, this is the little piano room that's outside where all the ping pong tables and pool tables are. Um, it's it's a okay. I guess it's okay. I guess like they surprisingly add they surprisingly added this. Uh, and there's these foam stuff for sound insulation. I guess I don't. It's not the greatest from last I tested. 
I haven't used these in quite a while, but last I checked the pianos were out of tune, but this one looks rather decent from what I can hear from it so far. One. Yeah, that's roll. <laughs> Time to speed. <laughs> Running in food time is not something I like. <laughs> Am I gonna read your vlog? I mean, indirectly, then sure. Oh, hey, perfect, perfect timing. <laughs> We're going to Walmart. <laughs> not, another nine minute wait, yeah. isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> So it's, I'm here in Walmart right now. It's been a while since I've looked at the pricing of stuff around here. And from what I can see compared to Hong Kong, it's what, about what? 10, 15% more expensive. Plus there, you have to consider 13% tax here, which doesn't exist in Hong Kong whatsoever. So you see TVs like an 848, that looks okay. But then you remember you have to add like a hundred, like a hundred bucks just because of tax, which is a bit annoying. You know, I, there's something I want to check. The best part about HK is you could just Taobao everything for cheap. And like you could see a Viper Mini is around 80 bucks, so there's a 480 HKD, so around 60 to 70 dollars, which is a bit more expensive just because like you can find them for like 40 something USD back in HK. This is painful to look at, just look at this pricing. Uh, 30 dollars, I can find this for like the equivalent of like 10 to 15 back at home, which is it's ridiculous here. But I'd say this is by far the worst thing I've seen so far. Like I'm here with my friend because she needs printer ink. And this is what we're looking for. But this is $66. That's ridiculous. Even on Amazon, it's like 40 something dollars. And back in Hong Kong, if you were to buy this, it'll probably be like 30, 35 dollars. And that's adding the fact that you don't have to pay tax. So that's like this is ridiculous. I have random pet pictures because why not? Oh, oh you know, only these were mine. Uh I Let's go for this. Yeah, check out. Collage. Right now. Isn't this just wonderful? We just got our pictures taken. <laughs> Yay. Yay! I mean, printed. But printed. But yeah, that <laughs> took like an hour. Okay, now that I'm back in CMH, we came back, we just dropped our stuff. I helped her drop off her water can her water back in her room. So now I'm it's 2 25 p.m. I'm hungry. I'm gonna grab a salad for lunch, because might as well. So let's go. Hello. Okay, I have food here, a salad and a soup. I'm gonna eat this. Then my plan is I'm gonna like do some WAP PD. WAP PD is like our professional development course that you do during co-op. So I'm gonna grind that today and then I'll, I guess I'll have some fun tonight then. And I'll, I guess I'll see you guys later. Okay, I had a little bit of a nap and I also finished up some of that WAP PD I was talking about. So you know what? Oh, I'm hungry. Let's go grab some food. Am I the only one that thinks that it snowed a bit more while I felt while I was napping? Because I look out here and then, uh, I don't know, it feels like it's different. Oh wait, I didn't even walk this pathway today, so maybe that's why. Because I went through back, back behind this building to get over to the bus stop initially. That's probably why. But yeah, at least I'm wearing some form of boots this time. I'm getting some new ones though, just because these ones are in... Let's just say the zippers are really, really annoying on this. So, we're just heading into the plaza to grab food right now. Yeah, I'm here now, just waiting for a seat. There's a lot of people. This is pretty popular, especially on the weekends. It's a Chinese restaurant. So. I don't know, I'm craving some of the noodles. So, yeah, we'll just see the way. Alright, 
nighttime, now walk, just walking back. Food, it was decent, and now that these alarms are running, which means it's the iron light rail coming its way, which means I'm running across the street. Okay, so now I'm just heading back and then I'm meeting my friend again from earlier and we are gonna build a shoe rack. So I'll see you back there. Okay, current time right now is 11.30 p.m. night. So change of plans, uh, to we're gonna do the shoe rack building tomorrow. And just now I was having some fun. I was meeting some more people from my floor, just having fun, just chatting around. We spent like two, two hours out there. So that was rather nice. Well, yeah, we're gonna do the shoe rack stuff tomorrow. So I'll see you then tomorrow. All right, hey guys, time's currently 3.30 p.m. It's kind of windy right now. I am walking over to MKV because my friends, oh yeah, I've completely forgot that there was an event for petting some animals. So there's apparently chickens and of course there's rabbits. I hear rabbits, I can't pass on that opportunity. So I'm walking over to MKV right now, Mackenzie King Village. So just the res is at the other side of campus. So that's gonna be a 20 minute walk. Can't pass that opportunity, so I'll see you there. Yeah. So I'm now at the western side of campus, haven't been over here in quite a while. Last time I was here was a week ago, I was just exploring around the other campus areas that I haven't really seen, but I honestly just can't get over the fact that it's the QNC. I absolutely love how it's designed. Oh, sorry. This main one is QNC. Well, this entire complex is really crazy. Let's see, have all the microphone And oh, good lord, you can hear the geese already coming around here. I haven't seen anyone green look this white before. Alright, finally here in MKV. It's been quite a while since I've been here. Close as I've been last time was probably like two, three months ago, if I'm maybe completely honest. Here's village one. MKV East entrance is right here, so now do we just go find where it is? <laughs> My finger's in the way. It likes to crawl out. Oh. Yeah, I know. They're quick little creatures. <laughs> oh, she's like, I'll go to the basket. Keep going, miss. Make sure it doesn't fall off. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Let's see if you want to see. He might take some from me. I don't know. He's like, he's totally It's pretty normal cloth. So soft. Oh. Guinea pig. He's a very very squirmy one. Yeah, he's a funky little guy. He doesn't <laughs> like to sit still very often. <laughs> Daisy was it? Daisy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty little Daisy. <laughs> okay. Like, where am I? That's us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> okay, leaving MKV now. That was definitely worth it. Now on to V1. I'm gonna quickly find a friend, then back to CMH we go. I must say, this is a nice view of the camp of the campus complex, and this, especially when there's snow around it. It looks cool. I'm so not used to seeing this V1 green uh, snow. And over here is where the health service, St. Jerome's, the university colleges are. So maybe I'll head there one day, maybe next weekend or whatever. I'll see what, what I'm doing next weekend. No, back to CMH we go. I was gonna be here editing this video and then I almost forgot to record an outro for this. <laughs> um, so I'm such an idiot sometimes, but it, you know, it happens to everyone, whatever. I'm just boiling some water right now, I'm making some tea, gonna be editing this video. And there's nothing really much more for me to say. I don't know what my next vlog is gonna be like, probably gonna be hanging out with friends, something like that. I don't know, we'll see how, how it takes me. Uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.